All right, guys, it's day two of my trip to California. And uh, as I promised, here's a little walk around of the lobster wagon. Hopefully we're gonna uh, start it up here at some point uh, because we're here for a photo shoot. Uh, we're meeting up to do some content on the new Nitto um, Nomad Grappler. We got some right here on this Jeep, just to show you. It's a uh, pretty slick little crossover tire uh, that still has an aggressive sidewall. And uh, they're becoming popular on like Subarus and uh, forerunners and stuff like that so we got a whole assortment of stuff including a tesla uh, tesla with some on it uh, but this rig is my favorite uh, rocking the ridge grapplers these are some 37s uh, this is a older body it's got the full four doors a crew cab um, but it's on a 1990 12 valve cummins manual frame uh, that's been stretched so they never made this old truck with the cummins and they never made the Cummins with the four doors like this, but this one's been made into the perfect truck, in my opinion. Uh, crew cab long bed, do a little walk around. You can see some of the uh, brands that he works with. And he's got the Ridge Grappler tread on the side. He did say they're gonna put some mud grapplers on it, which I'm excited to see uh, that at some point. Uh, but it's got the Fox coilovers and a BDS dual steering stabilizer which are uh, all products I've had in support. Um, like I said, it's 12 valve, hopefully we'll pop the hood. It's got the uh, VE pump. This is the older style 12 valve, like my 93, um, or maybe it was a 92, either one. I had an extended cab 12 valve manual. And that thing pulled my 6.7 power stroke and all my other projects um, across state lines, no problem. Uh, even though it was a pretty rough ride. Uh, so this thing, it's definitely got my attention. Uh, we'll see, I think it's probably locked, uh, but it's got the manual in it and it just looks super clean. Uh, I'm not sure how y'all feel about this color, uh, but it gives it the lobster wagon name and definitely stands out. So uh, we're gonna go around back. I'll show you some of the other cars that are here. Uh, we've got this uh, Kia Telluride actually just pulled up not too long ago. Uh, it's rocking some of the new Nomad Grapplers. And uh, we've got the, the plate here, so they're all getting uh, set up for the photo shoot. All right, Chris is gonna pop the hood for us and check out this 12 valve. Oh, yeah. So, is this uh, a stock wheel 12 valve? Is this non intercooled? Because right. normally, yeah. yeah, it would go right here. Okay, yeah. nice. So, it's because it's a 90, I guess that makes sense. I think mine was a 92 or something, it had an intercooler. Nice, simple motors, you can't kill them. It's great, solid setup here. Yeah, you feel free to close it if you want so it's not so loud. Yeah, I love this, love this rig. Hey, mind if I start it? Yeah, go for it. You wanna hold this for me? Yeah, that'd be cool. All right. It's in gear. Okay. Yeah, hopefully she's coming out of your uh, Is this uh, auto locks or? Uh, just pull yeah. the lock. Yeah. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah, mine had power locks and windows. This is what mine didn't have a back seat. That is sick. Oh, yeah. Room for the whole family in this thing. Nice. Yeah, this is sick. I need another one of these in my life. So, definitely hoping to make. Um, one of my old Fords have a 12 valve and a manual like this. You just can't beat the reliability of them. We just had a hard time starting up the trophy truck and this thing fires right up. It's crazy.
like a dream. Just chugging up this hill right now. Okay. Go in first. This transmission is so much uh, more firm and crisp than mine was. Told me to make it quick, so. every day I'd be set. Don't know where this goes so I'm gonna turn around here. You can see where somebody's been riding a dirt bike through there. So much better on the Fox coilovers. Mine had leaf springs front and rear, and uh, it, it rode like a wagon. This one rides like a, a wagon with coilovers on it. It's way better. Still a wagon though. Right. Throw her in second because first gear is so low. It has to have the back seat. Like that is a huge thing. You know, for the family now we got a little girl and a baby on the way, so gotta have the back seat. But one day I will be in something like this again, don't you worry. Alright, we're gonna try to roll in real slow and not hit his gate. Oh, this is how slow first gear is downhill. I'm crawling. Got puppies everywhere. I'm giving it gas downhill and we're going like negative one mile an hour. It doesn't even really seem to leak oil in this driveway either, which is impre impressive. And man, I'm gonna leave it in gear because that's how I found it. You wanna let it run any longer? You wanna keep it running or are you ready to shut it off? All right. I left it in gear, do you want it? Uh... Yeah, All right, sweet. I don't think the key wants to come out. Yeah, you gotta push that little button. Out. Oh, that's what the button's for, yeah. okay. Yeah, mine didn't have all that fancy stuff. Yeah, that's kinda weird. There you go. Yeah. Sweet, thanks man. Yeah, that was oh. a trip down memory lane. Yeah, dude, I forgot to tell you, I gotta put stiffer spring, or softer springs in. Oh yeah. Cause uh, down that dirt road at the end, it was just real chattery. Yeah, I didn't even try oh, okay, to go down there. I, I went, uh, you, I turned at the that. first um, yeah. neighborhood or yeah. street and then went up and turned around that way. So awesome, cool. That was good. But yeah, the coilover's already though, so much better than the wagon freaking yeah. front end yeah. that mine had. Yeah, the valving's already turned, it's turned down as soft as it can go and it's still too stiff. Yeah, so it's a... I gotta put a, that's a... It's a tank, man. That's a 400 pound spring, I gotta put, I'm gonna try putting like a 300 or 350 pound spring on it. Nice, okay. Yeah. What hubs you got on this thing? The Yukons, Yukons. nice. Yeah. Nice, so what, what does it have for gears? Is it stock gears or... Uh, they're 411s. 411s, nice. Yeah. They're power wagon axles, so they got the... Oh, cool. The e-lockers front and rear. That's crazy. 
So they're updated, you know, they're from 2011 Power Wagon. Oh, nice. And okay. BDS gave me their suspension components yeah. for the project. So. Yeah, they are the best, man. I've had them on a few of my rigs. It's awesome stuff. That's right. It rides a little stiff. It's not, the suspension's not totally tuned in yet. Yeah, it's not, not dialed yeah. for, you know, yeah. they don't really make a kit for a wagon like this, you yeah. know? Yeah. For a freaking Probably like in a month, I'll get it all dialed in. You know? Cool, man. So. Yeah, thanks for the opportunity. No problem. Walking back to the shop here, I wanted to point out this side-by-side uh, -side has the new Nitto trail grapplers for side-by-sides on it. So a super skinny tire with a trail grappler tread and sidewall. And uh, you'll see some of the race trucks in the garage back there have the same style with the extra tread lugs that uh, a lot of y'all aren't used to on the trail grapplers. Only like their race sizes have that. Uh, but I think they look really sweet with that extra meat on the side. So this is a great rig I'd like to have. Here we've got this awesome trophy truck uh, with the Marine Corps tribute on it. Uh, it actually has, looks like we've got Navy, Army, Air Force, uh, Marines and uh, Coast Guard. That's me. All right, sweet. So we've got all the branches uh, covered there and this thing is epic. It's got uh, independent front suspension um, Which you'll see some of the other rigs are running something different King shocks uh, huge 40 inch Trail grapplers as I was saying these have the extra tread lugs on the side because this is the 40 by 1350 on a 17 and uh, they offer this in a race sticky compound that's super soft and then also a streetable version uh, which i hope to run on my project truck because i think they just look so uh, clean and aggressive uh, so this is a really cool rig and uh, you can see it's set up for a co-driver everything i'm not sure what uh, is under the hood of this thing uh, i'll have to take a peek at some point but massive king shocks and bypasses that's what the motor has to be. Gotcha. So this thing's got a Ford motor, and he says like 500 cubic inches. 550 something? some cubic. It's 550. Patton's, wow. It's called the Patton's racing motor. That's awesome. Yeah, she's carbureted, so we had to yeah, get a couple tries to get her going. 900 horsepower. Keep it running. 900. All right. And uh, this thing's about 300 grand. We're uh, guesstimating, and I can believe it. These things are crazy. here fire extinguishers um, spare you know the typical trophy truck stuff you see but it's really cool to see in person uh, since I'm usually over in North Carolina or Florida the East Coast you know uh, we've got this thing squatting here that uh, doesn't have uh, any gas in the shocks in the back I think that's uh, quite a project and then this thing as well has the 40s on it uh, and this one actually has you can see the engine is way back in there uh, almost like under the dash and uh, that's gonna be really cool when they get that thing finished up and uh, you can see it's all tube chassis back here there's no frame left I uh, may not have any frame left at all yeah it's all tube the whole thing so that's pretty sweet uh, that one also I think I mentioned has the independent front suspension and then this one has the uh, I-beams which I think is really cool this is an older style um, basically based off an old Ford uh, front end from the 60s. And uh, you see this pivot point here goes all the way over to that tire there and vice versa. Uh, they call them whoop scissors. Uh, there's a bunch of different names for them, but basically you can get a ton of travel out of them. Uh, they don't hold the best alignment, but in the desert, uh, it's just awesome. And uh, kind of similar to what's on my Bronco, it's just a full wheel drive version of this where it has a differential in it and uh, that's called a twin traction beam so i thought that was cool uh, we just swapped out a bunch of tires in here uh, we've got some more nomad grapplers uh, sitting here waiting, waiting to go on something so we've got this ford maverick here that pulled up already uh rocking the nomad grapplers and uh, this thing's set up for camping and everything has a nice roof rack action going on looks like a pretty fun little rig little unibody truck and then we've got a forerunner that's looking pretty clean um, might have to get some of these tires for my wife. She's got the Ridge Grapplers right now, but these look a lot 
lighter and and uh, probably smoother riding. So we're at the sea. I haven't ridden on these yet. And then we have the Tesla. First Tesla I've seen on Graps. Uh, Nomad Grapplers here, and then pretty cool black Rhino wheels that I thought looked pretty uh, futuristic on this. They they fit it well. So we've been playing with this thing. The Tesla makes fart noises and all that fun stuff. It's pretty hilarious and. Uh, we've also got this Jeep 4xE hybrid on the Nomad Grapplers, yeah. so uh, a lot of stuff over here, and uh, it's fun to see this side of everything. Uh, I've done some of this on my Instagram story as well, uh, but I'm out here in California for a week. I'm excited to, you know, see the sights and everything, but ready to get back to King of the Hammers as well and uh, get dusty and maybe ride in some buggies. Got this sand rail over here too, uh, but I'm thankful that I'm not just sitting in one spot doing the same thing all week, so getting to see everything, eat some great food. It's been fun and uh, we'll see what happens next. Got some of the guys here doing the photography and then uh, the 12 vehicles are gonna be pulling up through there. And uh, we've got this dually that's a little bit more my speed too. I wanted to show you real quick. Uh, it's got the recon grapplers, 37, 1350, 22s, with some fuel wheels. Looks really nice with the, the dually. That's a really wide tire. This is a newer tire, you know, it's like the Ridge Grappler, but uh, the latest version, pretty much. And uh, it's got, looks like a BDS kit, probably. It's got the, probably just a new coal spring or a spacer, and some Fox shocks. Still got the radius arms. Um, I'm not sure if this is a aftermarket fender. This looks like a one piece, really big fender. That's kind of cool looking. But yeah, I figured I'd show the uh, the tow pig that pulls the the trophy trucks and everything. So here's a look at our first stop for the uh, photo shoot with the Nomad Grapplers. Uh, we've got some close-ups with some horses over at the neighbor's house, and uh, I want to show y'all their equipment a little bit real quick. Got some nice stabilization and everything. Pretty cool setup. All right, so now we've been doing some kind of real world uh, photo op stuff. They've got a shopping cart full of stuff. Uh, we're out in front of Costco and Lowe's. We got a guy out here holding the uh, light reflective thing and a uh, photographer over here. So it's a whole production. I'm excited to get back to the desert, uh, but it's kind of neat to see how much goes into these pictures. And uh, my job the past few minutes has been the uh, tire shine applicator, so that's given me something to do. All right, now we're doing some rollers in the Kia, and I'm running the radio. Uh, we're waiting for a call from the uh, videographer to go, and then wait for traffic. And uh, we're going to get some shots of this thing in motion uh, out here at uh, Lake Matthews, is that right? Yes. Yeah, it's pretty scenic once we get around the corner over here. So we just figured out they have a drone following us, so I'm trying not to ruin their shot with the GoPro, but pretty tell we're at the drone. epic view. And yeah, along on the radio. And we're at the turnaround. Yeah, I imagine they can edit out my GoPro, but here's the dudes on the side of the road controlling the drone, and I think it's flying behind us. We just saw it. Got the nice view of the lake over here. So uh, this might end up as a commercial or magazine, I'm not really sure yet, but it's a pretty nice drive over here. And there's the drone, if you guys can see that. So with the Wrangler getting death wobble anytime I was going over 70, uh, and we actually found a use for a pickup bed to haul a set of ridge grapplers out for uh, one of the racers. Uh, we're gonna take this Tacoma that I'd now swapped out at Enterprise. Uh, this is my new rental for the rest of the week. Way more happy on this thing. Uh, this is like my style. The Wrangler, it was kind of interesting for a bit, but they didn't have anything like I wanted. And uh, this, is, this is gonna do it for me. It's got a little bit of an aftermarket wheel and tire set up on it. And it uh, looks like we know what we're doing now. So uh, we got some banners and a few other things that need to go out there and uh, we're doing it right this is how you head to king of the hammers uh, so we're a little bit late getting out there uh, but we will get some more content out at the races and hopefully uh, ride along in some buggies and trucks and see what we can do